Welcome to Writing Matters. My name is Vanessa, and today we're talking about the school committee. Facts first. Uh, the school committee is made up of six volunteer, unpaid, elected members serving three-year terms. And this is a policy-setting board. School committees in Massachusetts are governed by state laws that are very specific in what the school committee controls and has authority over and what is under the control of the superintendent and administration. And so the school committee's responsibilities fall into three categories. Number one, they hire, review, and oversee the superintendent. The superintendent is then responsible for all the day-to-day -day operations of the schools. So many people are surprised to learn that this means the school committee is very limited in its ability to directly influence issues like curriculum or personnel decisions. Those types of issues are strictly under the purview of the superintendent and other district staff like administrators and principals. Number two, the school committee establishes goals and policies. These are policies pertaining to the schools, their programs, and the education of students. Examples here include disciplinary policies um, or the requirements of students entering the Brighton Public School System. Number three, the school committee reviews and approves the school, the annual school budget, which is presented by the superintendent. The budget approval, approval is critical because they have complete control over every corner of the budget, from how much is allocated for supplies to employee salaries. And they have a fair amount of discretion in moving things around within the budget after it's been approved by town meeting. Note here that capital spending think infrastructure and long-term planning is outside of the annual operating budget. So the school committee partners closely with the superintendent, the town manager, finance committee, select board, and town meeting. And an example of this is the recently proposed um, new school building at Killam. Um, it's also worth noting that the chair of the school committee is a person with um, significant personal power because they make appointments in almost all liaison and subcommittee positions. While the chair will often allow com the committee to provide input and discussion, um, votes aren't necessary. A place where this has a big impact is in union negotiations, which covers teachers, paraeducators, administrators, cafeteria, and janitorial staff. So here's my two cents. The school system is the largest public entity in Reading. It makes up 60% of the town budget and is the largest public employer in town. If you are the parent uh, or guardian of a child in the school system, the school committee um, guides policy that allows our schools to run. It impacts how welcoming and inclusive our educational space is. Uh, it can affect the quality of education our children receive and it affects the working culture experienced by our staff, teachers, and administrators, which in turn affects retention and the quality of candidates we attract when there are openings. So it's important to have school committee members who can put the needs of kids first, while also speaking and acting in a way that respects the expertise of our staff and administrators. It's essential to have school committee members who lead from within the boundaries set by state law because it can be problematic for our school system when they overreach. Uh, if you are not a parent of kids in the school system, public education is the cornerstone of our community. How we educate today's children will impact the direction of tomorrow's leaders and workers. We should all want well-educated kids. Uh, and if that is not enough, then the quality of our public school system is one of the top drivers of what makes Reading an attractive community to home buyers. So it impacts all of our property values. Bottom line, who sits on this committee affects every single one of us today, tomorrow, and for decades to come. And the great news is you can watch what they're up to. All school committee meetings are open to the public. Uh, they are typically held every other Thursday during the school year and monthly during the summer. Uh, you can watch them in person or on RCTV via Verizon and Comcast um, or on the RCTV Studios YouTube channel. So check it out and let's get involved, Reading. Uh, thanks for watching. Follow the YouTube channel, Reading Matters 01867 to get updates when new videos are available. Thanks.